Hi all and welcome everyone to the most demanding web services API automation testing course using REST Assured API and Postman. So in this uh, course we will be we are going to cover in depth of uh, API testing. We'll be learning all the basic concepts of uh, REST and uh, the SOAP uh, web services. Right, we're going to perform manual testing on these uh, web services uh, using uh, a tool called as Postman and then we will be automating these web services using the REST Assured API. So uh, we are actually going to design uh, a full-fledged framework uh, in Java which will going to contain a lot of utilities which will help us in uh, automating these RESTful web services. Now, in case you are already coming from an automation background or if in case you have manually tested uh, the APIs, these days web services are very important. Uh, they are very frequently used in almost every project uh, which is uh, like which, which could be an e-commerce application, a banking domain, a health domain, a travel domain, any uh, big application or a small application uh, which is uh, widely used in the industry are practically using these web services, right? So web services uh, comes at a middle layer if in case uh, you talk about uh, the UI part, uh, you may have heard about many automation tools uh, like Selenium as there, which is one of the most popular and open source automation tool like Appium, uh, uh, Selenium is there like UFT uh, or we talk about uh, QTP, uh, UFT was initially known as U, uh, uh, QTP, right? So this is a licensed tool, but uh, there was a time when uh, QTP was very much in demand. Nowadays, uh, the companies are moving more towards the open source uh, frameworks. So Selenium is again very much in demand. There is a very huge market of Selenium, but Selenium uh, automates the UI part only, right? So every application, if you talk about, there is a UI layer, there is a middle layer and there is a db layer so db layer is uh, like your database uh, you have mysql you have sql right you have oracle you have big data hadoop and number of uh, database big databases are there where we generally perform uh, uh, testing we validate our data uh, through the to the website we write some queries some inner joins some sub queries right so this is all in all a different platform but if we talk about web services web services comes at a middle layer and at times uh, it happens in an industry the ui layer uh, is not yet designed whenever uh, there, there is a development uh, going on for any, any particular application. So at times the DB layer is there and a middle layer is designed. That is your API layer is designed. And the UI is not yet designed. So companies, they want that you should perform testing on the APIs till the time the UI is being designed or the UI is being developed, right? So normally what happens, let's say if I talk about uh, a, a website, facebook.com. So facebook.com has got a UI where uh, like if we talk about the home page of Facebook where you enter username, password, you click on submit. So after entering user details, it is not directly going to interact with the DB. There is a service layer in uh, between the UI and the DB which accepts the request send the request to db and then processes the request so this service layer is your api layer and at times if a ui is not designed you can still perform the login testing you can test the login functionality with the help of this api layer so apis are available in a form of uh, xml or in a form of json Right. So at times it happens, let's say uh, I talk about one of the scenario where we may need to uh, test this uh, Facebook login functionality with 100 users. 
So if I use an automation tool uh, like Selenium, so for entering 100 username and password for validating the login for 100 username and password, I may keep all these details in my Excel sheet, right? And then one by one for each username and password, a browser will be launched, username and password will be entered, submit or the login button will be clicked and then it will quit the application. So the same process will gonna happen for 100 users. Right now, if I talk about uh, like we were talking about the UI part now, same way we have a login API available, which is let's say in a form of XML. So if I pass on the same hundred users to this XML file for validating the login API, there will be no browser that will show up right on the runtime you're not going to see any username and password entered or then the browser quit time is also taken right so if i talk about 100 users you can uh, assume that 100 times the browser will going to launch these details will be entered and 100 times the browser will going to quit so it will going to take a huge time but if we are testing the api part they this time of launching and quitting the browser and performing the action will be saved and if we have already tested the api then you're gonna face very minor issues or the issues could be uh, like the formatting related issues or cosmetic issues at the time when you're performing uh, the testing on the ui part right so this is where uh, at times uh, the organizations they want that uh, till the time the ui is ready you should uh, uh, perform testing on the API so that uh, if there are no issues in the API then we are good to go with the functionality right so not only this there, there are many other uh, areas where we actually perform the API testing and what exactly is web services we're going to talk about it uh, we, I have created a dedicated lecture uh, for what web services what is the importance of web service what all type of web services are and this is going to be a very detailed course right not just covering the basics of uh, API testing but we'll be working on uh, many live projects right we'll be exploring a lot of uh, open source APIs uh, which you can use uh, for your practice purpose as well and then uh, we'll be forming up uh, frameworks like data driven we'll be including the cucumber bdd approach as well we'll be generating reports we'll be integrating it with other tools like maven jenkins so this is going to be a very full-fledged course on api automation using rest api right so i'm sure you're gonna enjoy this course and uh, just look at uh, the content uh, that is uh, like uh, i have added to the course and then uh, i'll gonna see you in the course all right thank you